What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448. And guys, uh, today's video, or possibly second video, I don't know. I just did one video, I put it out, and that was about Crash Bandicoot. And, of course, the God of War PS4 bundle. But there comes point, there come points in time in, in my videos where things I've been thinking about for a while uh, just all of a sudden come out of my mouth. And I think this is a video like that today. And in this video, hopefully I get the title right, it's basically how Xbox and Microsoft see the future when it comes to console gaming. Now, I know there are haters out there, there are fanboys out there, that as soon as they see the title or they hear me say that, they're like, but PS4 has the most sales and has the most hardware out and, and this and that. And, you know, guys... I hear you. I hear you. They they have a lot of hardware out there. Um, they are killing it in terms of getting the console out into homes. But I'm talking about the future of gaming. And if you guys have noticed, this generation has been really weird when it comes to things we've never seen before. Whether it's, um, you know, kind of like a streaming service on console with PlayStation Now. Or you have what, what Game Pass is right now. You have... Games coming out with limited uh, limited time modes for their games, like Rainbow Six. Uh, you know, uh, Battle Royale modes have become a thing in the console industry. And it just seems like there's a lot of things that we've n not seen before in, in gaming. And it seems like there there's a... Um, a turn coming there there's there's a corner coming and we're turning the corner within the gaming industry and i think xbox has seen this all along now you can argue with me if you want to i mean that's that's one of the things in youtube you know i put a video up there and people hit up the comment section but back in like 2014 and 2015 when xbox decided that they weren't going to really announce uh, sales numbers and it's not even with software uh, like it's not even with hardware but it was with software as well and when they were going to their shareholders when they're going to even uh the community out there the gaming community they were sh they were sharing a number called you know active user base which is basically how many people have been actively playing a game or taking part in a service at, at any given point in time and a lot of people thought that was damage controlling for the fact that, uh, quote unquote, Xbox doesn't sell games and uh, their hardware sales, they are so far behind that they're just trying to damage control and all that good stuff. And I got to say, shut up, Bobby, because that's not what it was at all. They saw something that a lot of other people didn't see. And if you notice with Microsoft, they have a tendency to see the future before even the consumer base does. And a lot of times it's way too early. I mean, if you look at the the launch of the Xbox One in terms of always online and stuff like that, in 2013, people really were adamant about they didn't want that. And then you look at the top selling games today and they're all they all need an active online connection. So with that being said, I, I look at it as Xbox and Microsoft saw the future before everybody else did. And now with Game Pass, and there's people out there, it's like, oh, well, I'm just going to buy a couple months of Game Pass. Like, I'm not going to put down the $60 for Sea of Thieves. Like, they're doing something to go against Xbox. They're doing something, or they, they found like a cheat code or something like that to get to play the game and, and not put down that, that $60 or whatnot. And and guess what, guys? You're not, you didn't find a cheat code. You're not screwing the system or anything like that. They really want people to pay $10 a month for that service and they are gonna they're gonna maintain a constant stream of revenue that's gonna even supersede like physical and digital sales of games i i mean i see it coming uh i think there's other youtubers out there that see it coming and they're starting something new here that i think at least sony in some like rhyme or reason is gonna try to like duplicate uh or, or do something similar with now i know they have ps now which is a streaming service and that's where these companies want to go for the future it might not be next year it might not be two years from now but at the end of the day to cut manufacturing costs and 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 whatnot to to not spend so much money but to make a lot more money um that's where they want to go they want to go streaming service and sony stepped up first with uh ps now and I think they're going to develop that more. You're going to see more PS4 games going into uh, PlayStation now. 
and then you see Game Pass, but then Phil Spencer also said streaming service in about three years. So, with that being said, this is where these companies want to go. And I feel like Microsoft and Xbox have seen this for a while. Now, another thing is, Microsoft and Xbox say that Sony is not necessarily their competition. And if you look at the rumors and rumors of rumors, you hear names like Google and Amazon uh, talking about video games. I recently got um, uh, a Galaxy S8 Plus. And if you if you ask Google Assistant about video games, that assistant has some really interesting error, uh, like really interesting things to say about Google in terms of video games and consoles. So if you have an S8, ask Ask your phone about Google getting into video games and see what she says about that. It's really interesting, but let's get let's get back on the topic here. I, I have a tendency to stray off. Now, Google and Amazon, if they get into the console space when it comes to video games, guys, we we can't ignore the fact here that um they have deep pockets. Alright? So you look at Say Google and Amazon get in there. You look at Microsoft, Google, and Amazon with incredible funds in terms of uh, maintaining video games and, and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, Sony, who has sold so much hardware this generation, becomes the littlest fish in the pond. And um, I, I think Microsoft has seen this coming. I think other people who kind of like study the, the video game industry in terms of change and growth and financial growth are, are seeing this as well. And I think Microsoft and Xbox, they're putting Game Pass and other things out there to compete with their actual, with Microsoft's actual competitors. And that is Google and Amazon. Now, like I said, there are fanboys out there. There are people that are blinded by their preferred piece of plastic and they won't listen to common sense and and they won't see things in a balanced light now i prefer the xbox but i find the industry completely intriguing so i won't let my preference dictate my kind of like vision of the future and, and i see this happening man and and you hear it more and more day after day you'll hear more and more rumors about google and about amazon and It'll be interesting to see when these companies actually get into it as well. What is really going to happen in the console space? Like, where is Sony going to be financially, you know, against its console rivals if it's Microsoft, Amazon, and Google? At the end of the day, guys, there's going to be decisions out there that might not make sense right now. But if you look at it in terms of paving way towards the future... I think you can make a little more sense out of the decisions that are being made in the console gaming industry. And then, uh, I don't know, just sit back, you know, strap on your seatbelts because this is about to be one hell of a ride. I know I've stated it um, ever since middle of last year. I was like, 2018 is going to be a huge year for video games, for console gaming, for Xbox. And it's turning out to be that way. So as usual, guys, you know, if you like the topics, you like the gameplay, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. Uh, thank you for your time. Like, man, I, I think about these things a lot and it's good to get them out onto a video and to hear, you know, my subscribers opinions, the gamers out there in the community, what you guys think about this. Uh, you could call me full of shit. You could say I don't know anything, but I will say I am basically the only person that has stood by the game called Sea of Thieves, uh... Ever since like that that beta first came out, like there was a lot of people, people who are backing it up now, doubting it at, at certain points in time, and that game's gonna be absolutely huge. See, and that's another thing, man. <laughs> yeah, I brought up Sea of Thieves, and I'm thinking about, you know, with Game Pass and the games that are being released this year from Xbox, they're all huge multiplayer games. I mean, you look at Sea of Thieves, it's a huge multiplayer game. You look at State of Decay 2, and you look at the basis of their multiplayer that they just recently kind of shown on IGN, and that's another one. So it's a big multiplayer game. And then Crackdown 3, with having those destructible worlds in the online multiplayer and giving the players the ability to completely demolish the city 
and have all the debris stay there and you can actually pick it up and throw it at each other and all that good stuff, that's another huge multiplayer game. And this is just another example of them seeing the future, you know, even back in 2014, 2015, because now they are going to tout numbers like active users. And with Game Pass and being it, it being $10 a month, there's a lot of people, like I said, who, who feel they're screwing the system and they're going to pay $10, uh, you know, for a few months and, and, and play these games. You're going to be one of those people in, in Xbox's st uh, statistic. You're going to be one of those millions of people that are playing, you know, Xbox Live games through Game Pass. And they want you to do that, man. So I don't know. Yo, hit up the comment section. Let me know what you think as usual. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. You know, hit that bell icon as well. So this way you know exactly when I do drop my videos and whatnot. As you can see, I am dropping more gaming news videos. I told you guys I was going to do this. I, I am ramping it up. I have uh, two new live shows that are being planned out now to debut this year. And uh, it's going to be a really interesting year on this show. But as for now, this is the Xbox. Four, four, eight, and I am definitely signing off. Trying to get demons up out of me. Demons. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Beast. Deceasing opponents so properly. Opponent. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? Dark. We come to take this shit over.